Uh, joining us now to explain is Mike Novogratz, Galaxy Digital CEO. Mike, it's great to see you. Uh, what I can understand about what's happened really even over the past two weeks is the move in Bitcoin uh, against the backdrop of what appears to be an effort uh, by uh, Mnuchin on his way out to effectively regulate a good part of this uh, business and people like Brian Armstrong of, of Coinbase and others saying this is a real problem, and yet the price keeps moving higher. Square the you circle. Know, it, tells, it tells you about how powerful this bull market is, right? They are throwing lots at the, at the system, and it's not actually impacting it. But let's be careful. You know, these regulations really are hitting the stable coin market, and they're hitting, they're not actually designed to go after Bitcoin and Ethereum, per se. They're designed to go after the companies that traffic in them. Uh, and those are mostly companies with retail. So at Galaxy, nothing changes. Uh, we KYC, they email all our clients because we have institutional clients. And so we've got this institutional wave of money coming into crypto, right? Mass Mutual, an insurance company, buys $100 million for their general account. That's giant news, right? That, that needs to get approved by the Fed and by the insurance regulator. And so we're seeing no slowdown in the adoption of, of Bitcoin specifically with our uh, institutional clients. Uh, it is. I mean, Mnuchin put on the Grinch. Like, you know, two weeks before he's leaving, he decides to be the Grinch. This stuff should have proper 60-day uh, comment period. Uh, it's it, it's kind of endemic of the Trump administration trying to jam in legislation. And quite frankly, there are a lot of unintended consequences. This is anti-dollar, right? It's pro-China in lots of ways. And it's anti-innovation. It is going to push a lot of the cool stuff that's happening uh, in crypto offshore. The other thing to think about when you step back is, you know, think about Travis uh, Kolachnik with Uber, right? In order for him to get Uber done, he smashed regulations, state regulations, city regulations, heck, they even banned him in the Hamptons. Uh, and at one point, consumers demanded Uber. And, you know, he kind of pushed, pushed the edge of the envelope. We can't do that at Galaxy. We're a regulated entity. But lots of these crypto companies, both onshore and offshore, are willing to push regulation and build great innovation. Right. I would love an administration. I would love a regulatory framework that embraces that, not fights that. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, we get a change of the guard in 20 days. I'm hoping we get, we get some uh, more open-minded regulators. Mike, if we were having, the, if we have the same conversation a year from today, so Christmas Eve, 2021, the upside in your mind for where the price of Bitcoin could be and the downside of what the price could be? Listen, you know, Bitcoin right now is about 3% of gold. Um, I think it can easily be 10% of gold. So that's 60, 65,000, 60,000. Um, I don't think that's hard. I just see that many new participants coming into the market. Um, listen, the downside, I'd be really upset if it was below 14,500. Uh, that would probably mean, uh, in a, in a, on a good sense, that the economy has roared back much faster than people thought, right? Vaccine comes, huge surge of the economy, and, and whoever's running the Fed, Chairman Powell or his successor, says, oops, maybe we were a little too pessimistic, and maybe we're going to have to raise rates sooner. Uh, at that point, I think all assets are going to come lower. Uh, it's not my base case by any stretch, but I always try to think about what's the ballet that could could derail this both equity bull market rally and, and this, this rally in Bitcoin. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.